Hi, I'm Barbara. Welcome to this week's episode of Craft Corner Kits to Go. This week we are going to make a pine cone swan. You're going to make this with a pine cone. And we got the kind that look, has some white on them, which is kind of nice. And you want one of these bumpy chenille stems, some Google eyes, a toothpick, some ribbon, and some white feathers. So to start out with, this is going to be your body of your swan. So you want to take some ribbon so that we have a hanger for your swan. So put that ribbon in as close to the big side as you can and then tie it in a knot so I've made a, a tie into the pine cone and then I'm going to take the two ends and tie a knot up here so that I have a loop to hang my swan. Then you can trim off the edges so it's even if you want. And so I have a hanging pine cone. Next thing you want to do is take your chenille bumps and wrap them as tight as you can around your finger and then just keep coiling it and coiling it. I have one, two, three, four, five, six bumps left and I'm going to quit coiling. Then I'm going to go in kind of a swoop the opposite way so it looks like that and I'm going to take it and stick this end through this <clears throat> little hanger that is pretty handy to have right there because that way we can place the head of our swan and then just wrap it around itself and maybe tuck it back in at the bottom like that so you've got the head of your swan and I went ahead and took a glue dot and fastened it down on my pine cone so that my head is fastened well. And you could also do that with the bottom if you're feeling like it's going to come undone. So at the bottom of the pine cone where my chenille stem stops, I'll just put a glue dot there so that it stays. All right. So now I have a head and a neck and the body. And the next thing I need are some eyes. So I have these tiny glue dots and I'm going to use three of them. I'm going to use two for the eyes and one for the beak. So let's do the eyes. 
So this is a really tiny one and I've got a fairly small Google eye here. And I'm gonna put that on one side of the bird's head and on the other side of the bird's head. Kind of squeeze them together so that you have eyes on both sides. And then I need a beak. Now I think I'm going to send these to you in your kit already done. But what I'm doing is I'm using an orange marker and I'm fixing the end of a toothpick. So I'm going to cut it off and then I'm going to take my beak, which is what that is, and take a little tiny glue dot and stick that toothpick right in the middle of the tiny glue dot and then kind of wrap it around it. So it's got glue. I don't know if you can see that. It's got glue all along the edge. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to push it in to the fluffy part of the head of my swan. And now my swan has a beak. For the rest of this, we're going to need white glue. And what you will do is you're going to have some feathers. And these feathers are all different sizes. So we want to make sure that the feather that we've got is the right size for what we're doing with it. This is going to be his tail feather. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to put some white glue on it. And I'm going to stuff it right in the back of the pine cone for the tail. Then I need two that are about the same size. And if they're not the same size, you can always cut them so that they are, but these are close to the same size. These are going to be the wings. So I'll take one and put it on one side up close to the front of the swan and put the second one on the other side and close to the same place so that my swan is now displaying his or her wings. Now there might be a few more pieces in here and if so, we'll just put glue on them and just make our swan a little more fluffy with pieces, short pieces of feathers. So when you finished, after this has dried, you can set it on a table or you can hang it on your tree or you can do whatever you want to with it. But that's it for this episode of Craft Corner Kits to Go. And we'll see you next week.